Bye, Goodbye, Wetman. Goodbye, Wetman. Adios. Never have to use you again. Hasta luego. It's all over. Au revoir. CSU is getting rid of its webmail program that is based on the local servers here. It's an ancient technology well overdue for a refresh. All I ever got on it was spam mail anyway, so... Pointless. But they are switching to a system that is run by Google. Called Google Apps. And it's a lot like Gmail, only instead of a, dot, a gmail.com email address, you'll have a your name at rams.colestate.edu email address. So come this winter break, the school's actually going to force us to uh, switch to the Google Apps email client. So um, we suggest that you actually do it beforehand just because it'll be easier. Um, and, and it means you can stop using webmail today, which is a very big plus. So we're going to walk you through on the screen, and we're going to do it all in less than a minute. Just to show you how easy it is. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you set up your account is go to mail.rams.colestate.edu. From there, you're going to go to a link that says create your Google Apps for CSU account here. Log in with your EID. Click continue after remembering not to click back during the account creation process. Click continue when it says where your alias will be, which should be your name. Go ahead and remember it anyways. On the next page, click migrate my Simla email if you want all of the mail that was in your old webmail inbox to be in your inbox now. Click update my Google Calendar and keep it updated if you would like your schedule to be reflected on the new Google Calendar app that you'll have access to. Click continue. And that is as long as it takes to create your account. So right off the bat, uh, when your account gets created in your inbox, you're going to have just a couple emails from Google describing uh, some of the features. So if you're new to Gmail, go ahead and check those out. It's going to teach you how to use the new email client. They've got some really in-depth tutorials uh, and instruction guides for you. Now, from the home page, in case you don't know, in order to find all those cool apps we talked about in the column, uh, you go up to the top left above the CSU logo and go to Calendar or Documents. If you click on Calendar, it takes you right here where it already has your class schedule imported. And right next to that is the Documents link. And from there, over on the left-hand side, right below the CSU logo, you can go to New, and then Document, Presentation, or Spreadsheet, which has all the functions more close to of Microsoft Word, and PowerPoint, and Excel. In fact, this is what we use to create our column every week. <laughs> As predicted, Apple released their new line of MacBooks and MacBook Pro laptops this previous Tuesday. Um, some interesting stuff. The now the low end at MacBooks start out at uh, nine hundred ninety nine dollars, which makes things a little bit more affordable. It's still, it's still grand. Um, and they also redid the cases uh, for both the MacBook and the MacBook Pro with a uh, one shell design, a new manufacturing process that's not only more eco friendly but it's cheaper. Uh, other than that, just the standard update and processing speed, hard drive capacity. All those other big words that we like to throw around and sound cool. Also, on the Microsoft side of things, uh, Windows is getting a new update again. Windows 7.0 is coming out, and that's what it's going to be called. No more fancy names like XP or Vista. It's just going to be Windows 7. And uh, it's the seventh installment of Windows since uh, Microsoft first came out with the operating system. Um, back it's when you were, like, born. It's been almost two years since Vista came out. It'll be two years this January 30th. Um, and so this is just a, yet another operating system coming out. Clearly they're trying to get back on track with coming out with something new uh, more often after spending six years without an update um, while XP was out. So, But don't expect it any time too soon. There's been no release date set. And generally, once the release date is set, it's pushed back at least once, usually twice. So that's what's new with Apple and Microsoft this week. And tune in next week to see our how-to video for this month.